I don't think you can hurt me, but I'll listen to what you have to say, because I really don't want to find out if you can hurt me or not. <laughs> What's up agents, Zero here, welcome back to yet another Minecraft video and today we're going to be taking a look at a custom map called Lavender Town and this is essentially a, a town inside of the Pokemon universe from the first generation games which technically have been re-released a number of times and this is associated with a lot of like hauntings, creepypastas, that kind of stuff. So it's actually a very famous town in that regard. And this actually comes in two different versions, and there will be a link down in the description for you guys to go ahead and download this map on MCBDL. And they have two different download links. One is to a Nintendo DS version, one's to a Pokemon Let's Go version, which that's the one I'm playing. The only difference that I can really tell is the music, which does, it does have custom music, but I have the volume turned down quite a bit, just for copyright reasons, but I want you guys to be able to hear it regardless, so you may have to listen really closely. I do apologize, but that's kind of the method that I'm taking here. And this map was created by someone by the name of Gunner Boss GR. So huge shout out to them. Make sure to check their links down in the description. As I said, there will be a link down in the description to go ahead and download this map for yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. And I actually think this is pretty cool, all things considered. I like the idea. And this is literally the only town that is actually available, at least as of right now. They said, I think they said on MTBL that they're thinking about potentially adding further towns, maybe. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to go through, but we'll see how things end up turning out. But yes, let's go and walk in here. And yeah, the music's playing. Again, I don't know how loud it is, so you guys are going to have to listen closely because I want to kind of avoid copyright if uh, possible. But yeah, we actually have some NPCs that we can potentially end up talking to. Some of them... I don't see a button for, unfortunately. That's how we're going to end up talking to these guys. But we can go ahead and see what they have to say. And apparently it looks like there's barrier blocks keeping them in place, which I guess does make sense. So let's see what they say. Hey there, kiddo. What are you doing outside my house? What? You are a trainer? Eh, back in my days, there wasn't something like that. Those Pokemon? Uh, uh, how do you say it? Whatever, they're monsters, and you know what that means? Right danger. Alright, I realize I'm not talking about uh, saying these, like, super well, but you guys get the point. I'm also going super fast. Okay, looks like this guy can say something. I can't ever forgive Team Rocket. Now, right now, we're taking care of a Cuban whose mother, Marowak, was... She was caught by Team Rocket, and that was it. I would, we never saw her again. I, again, I know I'm saying things are kind of weird, but I'm trying to read things off. But yeah, so there's definitely some bizarre things going on in this town. And I'm ignoring, like, the whole creepypasta things. I'm just regarding, like, the kind of lore as far as, like, what happens inside of this, um, town to begin with. I really haven't played a lot of Pokemon games recently. The most recent Pokemon games I technically did play were all on... Um, the Game Boy Color, that was the last one I really ever had that I played a Pokemon game on, so don't judge me too harshly. We'll see how things go. Okay, do you believe in ghosts? Um, I don't... Oh, never mind. Oh, never... I, uh, got scared, like, without even thinking. Alright, so, do I believe in ghosts? That's a good question. Um... I mean, technically speaking, no, but we're in a Pokemon map, so I don't know what to answer this question. Um, click on yes. Really? So there is, there are believers. All right, can I do the same thing again and hit no this time? Um, yeah, right, that's, um, that white hand on your shoulder, I'm just imagining it. Um, well, the white hand on your, oh, I don't like the sound of that. Okay, that's okay. That's definitely a creepy line, all things considered. And also, just keep in mind, I'm gonna be leaving out a lot of these NPCs. Just kind of want to speed things up. And this must be that Cubone that the old man was kind of talking about. Supposedly, he 
he does have custom sounds, but he's actually in the exact same uh, sound panel as the music. And what I mean by that is that apparently the music is actually in sound effects, which is that kind of weird, but whatever. It looks like this is supposed to be Pokemon Center, I want to believe. It's actually pretty cool. But yeah, we also have access to... This is Pokemon Tower, which this is actually something that's also kind of connected to the whole, like, creepypasta stuff. And there's also custom music here as well, which is interesting. So let's see, is this the same man? No, the old lady. Oh dear, what cute kid. Are you heading up to the Pokemon Tower? What kind of child are you? Her? Um, I have an idea. I bet Pokemon here would be happier to see you if you had a spiffy outfit on. Uh... What are you talking about? I'm already wearing one, technically speaking. But, yeah, okay, so... By the way, I do want to mention that apparently they are using, like, custom mobs in this, which I don't blame them, and taking advantage of the double resolution, because I didn't even mean to go ahead and push this uh, person around. I didn't even realize that's something I could do. Looks like they've got some custom models, too, which I actually can't say I blame them for using. Let's see, what do you have to say right here? My sweet Growlithe, why did you have to die and leave me alone? Yeah, that's the whole point of this tower, by the way, just so you guys are aware. This is basically like a graveyard for Pokemon, unfortunately. That's not the whole point of it. Let's see. Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that passed away. Yeah. Like I said, that's what the whole point of it is. So let's go ahead and come upstairs. There are a few different floors, and there are also different people that we can potentially talk to. Again, just to save on time, I'm going to ignore a lot of these, but again, you guys can go ahead and download this map if you guys are interested, and you can go ahead and go ahead and talk to every NPC that you want to, and these are definitely some really interesting mobs. Not sure what they are, but they're definitely ghosts, I will say that much. Are these supposed to be haunters? I actually don't know. Actually, a rather good question. Although, admittedly, haunters are usually purple, so that really shouldn't be too hard to pull off. Let's see. Uh, be gone. Um, be gone intruders. Um, you know what? Um, I don't think you can hurt me, but... I'll listen to what you have to say, because I really don't want to find out if you can hurt me or not. Okay, so that's definitely interesting. Okay, and okay, I just heard a faint sound effect. I don't know if it was from the Cubone or if it was from these guys, but it doesn't really matter. I just barely heard it. Yeah, there is obviously some... Interesting things going on in here, I'm not gonna lie. You know what, let me, since I'm right here, let me go ahead and talk to you. You there, if you wish to know the truth behind the wandering spirits haunting this tower, well, even the channelers can identify them, but maybe magic with the right tool. Yes, perhaps a, a self-scope a might let one see the truth behind this mystery. Well, mainly I don't know where to get one of those. There's definitely a, quite a bit of interesting things look at here. Mainly this is just a single town. Again, it's kind of um been hinted at with being like connected to creepypastas and stuff. Well, let's go ahead and talk to one more guy. See what this guy um you look like an entity from other creepypastas that I really don't want to have to get into. At the same time, I'm kind of interested in what you have to say regardless. Okay. Yo, what are you doing here? And first of all, okay, I'm not in T505. That's some kind of nickname because, um, oh my gosh, the text is going way too fast. Okay, so, okay, so let's see. Yo, what are you doing here? And first of all, no, I'm not in T505. That's some kind of nickname because, um, my appear, this, it's this, anyway. I'm, okay, so this is the creator, apparently, or GB for short, and I'm a trainer like you. If you are a trainer, so... I'm here to explore the mysterious town. I heard there is a ghost on that tower. There's also a little cube I'm running around. And 
I think I hear it's crying sometimes, but why? Anyway, if you like this tower, explore it a while. There's some crazy things to see, and I don't think that little Cubone wants to be a friend of you. Doesn't even care for anyone around. Okay. So apparently that's the crater, which that's kind of interesting, all things considered. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, admittedly there are more things I could look at, but I think this is where I'm going to potentially end things off, at least for this particular video. I don't, like, know how much more of the Pokemon Tower there is that I hadn't actually, like, checked out. Mainly I didn't go, like, too in-depth in, like, the whole Grave so maze, but it's definitely something you could potentially look into if you guys are interested in checking this map out for yourself. And also, I do want to mention, if the creator happens to be watching this video by chance, that Halloween is going to be coming up in a couple of months, and there is that fan-made Creepypasta Escape from Lavender Town game that was made, I don't even know how long ago. Maybe you could potentially attempt to rebuild this map in a way that will make it look like that particular game. I don't know how you would pull it off, because technically speaking, you have to quit the original game in order to kind of like progress. I realize this is a bit of a spoiler, but anyone who's played the game knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end things off. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. One more to make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at AgentCP0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I'll see you guys later.